Well, today is the day. Here is what we are going to do. Indeed. We got some caffeine here at the 7-Eleven. Starting the day out right. Today we are in Lakeland, Florida, specifically Lakeside Village is our first stop. This is where BD's is. It's a Mongolian grill if you've never been there. I know we went to another Von, uh, Mongolian grill on one of the other videos, but this is our favorite. We always promised we were gonna do a review of this place. Well, today is that day, and today is the day. This is what we're doing, right? So that's what we're doing today, uh, among other things. We have other stops to do while we're in Lakeland because uh, we tend to make, a, make an afternoon out of it when we come here, because it's a little bit of a drive for us. But uh, this is where a lot of little shops we go into here at uh, Lakeside Village. It's a pretty cool little place. In case you've never been to BD's or a Mongolian grill like this, the way it works is that uh, if you want to do a build your own, which is what we always do, they give you a bowl, it's one price, and you can fill it up with as many toppings as you want. It's raw meats, raw vegetables, fruits, all those kind of things. You get as many as you want with the sauces, and they cook it for you uh, right there in front of you, or at least they used to. Some things have changed but they use that grill there in the background to cook everything up and it's usually really, really amazing. Well, I'm gonna wait till the end to do a full review, but so far, I'm not happy with uh, what's going on here at this place. We've been here more times than we can count over the years and it's one of our absolute favorite places ever, but uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I'll explain more uh, at the end. Waiting on our food now. This is also a new thing that I'm not happy about, and uh, it better be good. That's all I gotta say. All right, so <laughs> we just got out of BD's and I'm personally very disappointed in the overall. It was rough. <sighs> yeah, I don't even know how to describe it. It was, first of all, when we walked in there, it was felt like sitting in a meat locker. It was really, really cold. Couldn't quite see your breath, but it was cold. We uh, Other people went out and got coats out of their car. Uh, so it wasn't just us. Um, it was it was and the really the servers were covering their it, hands and it was, such it, they were right. all over the fleece so it's something exactly. going on with the location yeah exactly and i didn't feel the staff was that terribly friendly they weren't rude they were just unfriendly um it was kind of kind of disappointing in that the uh, the food station itself i felt like was a little dirtier than i'm used to it was you know the place had only been open for about 45 50 minutes when we arrived and yet many things were almost completely empty and not I refilled. I think dirty in the sense of things mixed out on the 
drop that when you lift up a spoon and you put it in your bowl to create your bowl things that would drop those are typically wiped off more not necessarily like dirt or bugs or things that are no bad. right i don't mean dirty like yeah, i wouldn't have eaten there if that had been the case um, that's kind of <laughs> what i meant sorry <laughs> but yeah that's a good point and you know utensils that were you know and i get it this isn't part of the fault of the staff you know customers come in they use a spoon and something to to get their food out into their bowl and they put it in the wrong thing just you know but they need to come back and check that you know and and, and remedy that situation mm -hmm. anyway that was a little disappointing and um and they've changed how they, they grill but i will say the taste of the food when it was all said and done was fantastic it was good it was good uh, i probably was just tainted by the experience so i was saying like eh, it's not as good as usual but uh anyway so i basically um i don't know i was disappointed in the fact that they don't let you stand there and watch them cook the food that was always kind of a cool uh, attraction for this whole thing i always think that was really a, a neat part now they have you just sit the bowl up there with a piece of paper with your name on it and they bring it to you and it takes a lot longer and it just was, I don't know, just kind of the it's whole different. experience. whole experience was just a letdown for me compared to what we've been through for years and years at this I'll place. Yeah, I'll, I'll debate. I may or may not. We'll see. <laughs> but not when it's cold because it was really cold in there. It was really cold in there. Yeah. All right. So, unfortunately, I can't give a, can't give a positive... Uh, positive review for BD this time even though it's one of our favorites it's one of our favorites and has been for many many years but uh, anyway we're off to shop now like she said and uh, more to come more to come next stop is books a million you know me in bookstores I love a good bookstore and books a million is uh, one of my favorites thank you Quite the wall of Funkos. <laughs> That's pretty good. Lakeside Village is just a really cool shopping center, a lot of great stores to check out. It's even got a movie theater, uh, great restaurants as well. So uh, I discovered this place not long after I first moved to Central Florida back in 2005. Can't remember what originally brought me down here, but I discovered this place and been coming back ever since. Uh, and from there, I've learned a little bit more about the area around uh, Lakeland, like Lakeland as a whole and uh, just really enjoy coming down here and spending the day sometimes. It's not a terribly long drive for us, maybe 30, 40 minutes, depending on traffic. But uh, yeah, just always like coming here, checking out what's new, doing a little shopping, catching a movie sometimes, grabbing a little food in one of the restaurants. It just makes for a nice uh, little day trip sometimes. We are now headed back up into Lakeland, uh, sort of the main strip of Lakeland along Florida Avenue. Got a couple more stores to go to, to do a little shopping, a little uh, things we want to check out. So next up is Guitar Center. 
the same location, of course, where I bought my new amp. But because of uh, my strap breaking the other night at the recording session, uh, I need to get a new strap. I need to get a new tuner. Let's see what else they got. Managed to pick up a, a tuner. Struck out on the guitar straps though. I'm gonna have to do some looking to find what I really like. Just didn't like any of the kinds they had. Plus, I'm gonna need a, uh, a strap lock, lock set up. So, I'll have to get that online maybe. And when in Lakeland, come to the Lakeland Antique Mall. This is my third trip at least. Yeah, it's got to be from Splash Mountain. Teddy Ruxpin. Haven't seen one of these in a million years. This is Brooke's first trip. Let's see if she can make it out of here without getting anything. Oh, we'll be leaving without anything. <laughs> including me, probably. There's an ancient Donald Duck uh, uh, book back there. Wow. Accurate in the summertime. Well, that's about it for our latest day trip to Lakeland. We did not get anything at the antique mall, but we always have fun looking through it. Uh, heading back home now, and uh, think just want to 
take a minute to thank everybody again for watching if you made it this far liking subscribing supporting the channel really really appreciate you guys and uh, I'm done here